Hi everyone. My name is Zhong Er. Today I'm going to talk about learning to solve hard minimal problems. And what is hard minimal problems? Hard minimal problems arise from relaxing the original geometric optimization problem into a minimal problem with many spurious solutions. And the motivation of this project is minimal problem often have many additional um, spurious solutions. So we want to save time and uh, save the and save the time. So we want to avoid computing computing spurious solutions. And the random a uh, simple consensus approximates the optimal optimal solutions to the geometric problem by computing candidate solutions from data samples and picking a solution with maximal data support support. And to find the signal solution for data sample in the random sample consensus the uh, we use the uh, so and the pick approach. And so the so and pick approach is first uh, computes all solutions of a minimal problem and pick the best uh, solutions in it. And we need and this is very expensive and uh, spend a lot of time when a minimal problem has many spurious solutions. So in this paper they they have another approaches approach pick and sew. This approach um, is coming is used the uh, efficient home topic continue uh, continuation combines with machine learning to learn a function sigma and uh, to get a p uh, to get the p c0 and s0 and to start with the p0 and s0 pair and avoid for the for the spurious solutions and here the picture shows another way to describe the uh, throw and pick approach and pick and throw approach. In the throw and pick approach, we got a problem and some the minimal problems and solve the, all the the solutions and. In this, all the solutions we pick the the best uh, solutions as the uh, S solutions, and in the pick and uh, so approach, um, we select a simple, a suitable start start problem and so pair P zero S zero belong to M for P and choose a path. P0 to P in the problem space P and tricking the path P0 S0 to P S to obtain the target solution S of P. And let's see the structure of the servers. The servers has has a has an offline training stage and an online evaluation stage. For the online offline stage, simple data D representing the pre uh, the problem and so manual float M. For screen we can simple a uh, signal PS pairs. Uh, select three cameras CI, CJ, CK and uh, select four points XI, XM, XC, XO 
and all of this x is belong to x and described as x a and x c b and any a in is belong to l m n o and b is belong to x i j k and project the points to the cameras to get uh, 10, 12 2 d points x a b and get the depth lambda of the points in the cameras and the second step of the offline training stage is covering a sufficient fraction of the data with anchors A and this goal is to find a sim small stage A of starting PS pairs and this is also the set of anchors the first table is the number a uh, number uh, is the number of anchors we obtained and we obtained the we select enter to select uh, anchor a we use the uh, graded graded proxy to replace the np hard and this in this table we can see cover covered uh, 50 percent 75 percent 90 percent 95 percent and 100 percent of in problem serving pairs and we can also can see that when in the when n is equal to 10,000 uh, 10, and in the 50% and 70% uh, they got the largest and the second table is in the second table the row is different models and uh, all combined with two different models and uh, the anchors in this uh, table is generated from are generated from these models, and for each source source of anchors, we measure the percentage alpha of the alpha of the testing PS problems. Compare the different uh, sources of anchors. The combination of models of office and uh, terrain terrains gives the uh, be in the best generalized ability out of all considered sources. So we have generated an in problem solution pairs from models, office, and uh, terrains. And the third step of the offline training stage is learning sigma to select the starting p s pairs pair and the more methods relies on a classifier sigma the goal is to minimize the efficient time uh, optional of the server and the mute, mute is uh, total time. Um, this time is uh, have this time have processing, anchor selection, checking, and uh, random sample consensus scoring. And the row is a uh, success rate. Now let's discuss describe the uh, classifier, c classifier and uh, its training for five point and four points problem uh, we in this paper they use a multi-layer person potent with six with c uh, yeah six uh, hidden layers of 100 nails and with binaries 
and they also use plu as the active function and use the job layer uh, before the last layer to prevent overfitting and and the classification time of the MLP is about 8 microsecond for both 5 points and 4 points problems and for the classifier evaluation they also have a table to show the score and the rules is the stats, problem, selection, strategies and the anchor uh, from in this table are from the data set office and uh, theorems and in this table for the giving set of anchors the success rate of B1 is the best pos possible re reiterative of, of the starting problem to reach the target problem <coughs> <coughs> and B2 is select selects the starting problem as the nearest anchor to the target problem from AN. The B3 is selects the starting problem as the nearest anchor to the target problem uh, minor uh, measured by the Mahalabi distance. And the MLP plus T is the measured they use in this paper and select the starting problems. Yeah, we, yeah, and we can see um, the optional T is uh, the lowest in this table. So we use this 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 was to to the to learn the optional and for the online evaluation stage first we normalization the input p to reduce its value variable uh, variability and second we select and we select the starting pair from a as P0, S0. And the se third stage is the third step is constructing polynomial equations of P. For the five point minimal problem, we have two cameras here CI and CG. On the picture, we have four point points x m i x g x k i x k g x m j and in this picture you we can see the distance from x m to x k is hot so and we we have another placement lambda from c1 to x m and we use a uh, V, uh, we use a corresponding homogeneous coordinates V, and we can calculate the, we can um, describe this distance from XM to K XK in this equation. And for the four point problems they are same as uh, uh, they are same as uh, five point problems so we can get the equations equations like this and we we have 12 unknown depths and we got uh, 18 equations but only two equations are independent in in the in the equations involve the same pair camera 
and to computing solution S of the P by HC from P0 S0. And first we build a linear segment HC like this. And uh, each T will correspond to the solution to a solution ST and we have criti criti criteria implicit equations in the system of equations H and uh, so we can got the equation like this and for the certain points S T I we can got this equations and in the predict predictor steps in the value STI star for, gi for giving TI is knowing and use the st standard force order origin cotton method to approximate the value S of the step delta T and the red line is the predictor step and in the character step of uh, the value s is refined by three steps of Newton's method and the, uh, the green line is the character steps and the last uh, step of the online evaluation stage is recover solution S of the original problem P. And for the five point problems, we first we construct a unit 3D vectors represent the image, the rares of the image points and compute the mean ray of the each camera. And then find the ray v, v that constants the largest angle with the camera ray of mi of its camera and then compute the omega and last swap the cameras to make the camera i the first the first one back to the image points x i j and ordered the image correspondence counter uh, clockwise starting with G, uh, G star. And for the four point problem, cameras are ordered according to the angles of the first point. point, point. And we can see, uh, see the equation here. And in, so the inference flow is very clear. From the as first, the input problem is 2D projections, and then normalize, it, normalize the input, and then we can find, we can select the actu uh, anchors as zero T zero, and check from the S0 to T0 to got to the S and T. And finally, we got the output 3D geometry. Thank you.